at Sean Bailey and welcome to this video today where I'm going to tell you how to conduct a webinar. If you've never done one today, I'm going to give you a good outline uh, for you so that you have a, an understanding of how a webinar goes. And the way that I've done it is I've kind of broken it down into three webinar phases for you just to make things nice and simple here. So the f three phases are pre-webinar, the webinar itself, kind of day of webinar covers that, and then we've got post-webinar. So pre-webinar, what we need to worry about is the first thing is going to be some email lists. So the email list that I usually set up uh, when I'm going to be running some type of webinar funnel, um, I've got the list. My, the first one is my house list, the existing list of people that I've got, leads and customers that I've got um, that I've already accumulated. The second one is kind of what I call a bucket list of people. So these are going to be people who sign up for the webinar. I'm going to send a notification to uh, to my bucket or to my house list. Uh, about this webinar and get in order to get them to join and be part of this bucket list. I'm also going to put some ads out, uh, whether they're on uh, Google or Facebook ads, Pinterest, wherever I'm going to put ads are going to point them to some type of uh, a web page. We'll talk about that. When they sign up, they're going to wind up on the on the bucket list. Next, I'm going to have a buyer's list. Anyone who takes part and buys whatever I'm offering uh, on my webinar at the end. Uh, they're going to get put onto a buyer's email list. And the last one is kind of an optional one, and it's what's called, uh, we'll call it an interested list. And I'll give you a little bit more info about that in a minute here. So the next pre-webinar thing that we have to worry about is websites. And we're going to need, now uh, this might vary depending on your situation. This is just how I have mine set up. So the five websites that I need here are going to be, first off, it's going to be a landing page. Now, this is where people, if they click on my ad, this is where they're going to go, where they get some details about the webinar and decide whether or not they want to sign up and, and be a part of it. The next page is the actual sales page where once I'm at the end of my webinar and I'm offering people additional help, some kind of product or service, uh, when they go to that link, this is where they're going to land up. This is the sales page. Now after that, my sales pages lead to, I use a service called Samcart, which does uh, really nice looking checkout pages. So that one's kind of optional. It could just be one from when they click on your sales link, uh, it could go straight to PayPal and it could go like that. Now the next web page that I use is the thank you page for buyers. Once they buy, they're going to land on a web page and on that web page I have it set up so that they get everything explained to them and they know what's going on. And the last website that I use is the actual webinar link that I'm going to send out to people. So when they click, they go to a website and they're able to actually watch and uh, take part in the webinar. Now the next part is some emails that I have to write up. So these emails are going to be webinar reminder emails. I'm going to send out periodically to people who sign up and join my bucket list. The next emails are going to be some close the sale emails. So these are people, they've come to my webinar, they've checked it out, they liked what was going on, they just kind of need a little bit more uh, maybe information or something. And I send them a few emails after the webinar to essentially close the sale, anyone who's kind of on the fence. And the last set of emails that I'm going to write up are going to be some stick emails. So these are people who purchase your product or service and you want to make sure that they actually use it to its full potential, take advantage of the product, uh, get their money's worth out of the product, and ultimately uh, don't refund the product. So the next thing we're going to talk about pre-webinar is the webinar presentation. So when I construct a, a presentation a webinar, uh, I kind of break it down again into three phases. So there's going to be the uh, opening section where you talk a little bit about you, show the more you can humanize and, and show some pictures, let them know who they're they're getting their information from. And then you, the second phase is going to be the actual teaching section where if I'm going to be giving a webinar about marketing or creating funnels or email automation, that's where the actual learning part is going to be. And then at the end of the, of the webinar is going to be what's called a closing section where I'm going to uh, offer anyone who's interested additional help, resources, uh, or maybe some kind of product that will get them the results that they want faster and easier. Okay, so now let's talk about the actual webinar itself. So the day of webinar, there's going to be two notifications that I typically send out. Uh, one in the morning, just letting them know again that the webinar is taking place that day. And then one, you, this kind of varies however you want to do it. There isn't really a wrong answer. Uh, it could be an hour, a half hour, 15 minutes from now, something to just let them know that it's starting real soon. It's usually around an hour out, but you can set it however you want. 
Uh, once the webinar starts, just kind of go through a brief introduction, just saying who it is, who's actually giving the presentation, let them know that it is in fact you, and uh, I like to let them know that it is live, that it isn't like a recorded session. Lots of people like to use pre-recorded webinars and just have people go through that. I like to let them know that it is a, a real event going on and just thank them for being a part of it. Um, I remind them to stick around till the end of the webinar because I can, I'll give them some type of free gift. And just remind them to, uh, especially with all the distractions that there are going on, I just like to give them kind of a general reminder to just kind of turn off any other distractions, Facebook or Netflix, and sit back and relax while I do the webinar. Okay, so the last section is the post-webinar section. So here's where a little bit of tech work usually comes in. Uh, if there's any recordings that I've got going on, I'll stop any of those recordings, make sure that the playback work properly, that I've got those audio recordings set up. I'll also, depending on whether or not, I'm going to send out a replay to my list. I think it's a good idea to not always offer a replay because you don't want to condition your audience to think, well, he's always going to give a replay, so I don't have to uh, attend the, the live version. After that, you're just going to send out, if you are giving out a replay, you're just going to send out a link, uh, whether or not it's internally. And if you've got a house list, an existing list of people, people who didn't actually go and sign up for the webinar, you can email them with the email that has the replay link if you wanted to do that. And the last thing to do is just kind of close the offer. Here's where that interested link comes into place. So anyone who, say, gets that email from you after or checks that email afterwards, once you've closed your cart, uh, you can set it up so that you're on your sales page. When they click the button to buy, it just pops up with some type of redirect to capture their email so that you can you know, further retarget them with another webinar because you know that they're kind of already interested. Maybe they're just a little bit late to the party. So that's it. Thanks for watching this video. If you'd like to download my free webinar funnel blueprints so that you can have a visual map for creating your own webinar funnel, you can get them below this video. Just click on the link and I'll send them right over. Thanks again. And don't forget to click like and subscribe. Take care. Bye-bye.